Good morning. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm looking like the little elf on the shelf, you guys. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Welcome back. Hopefully, you guys have had a great week. Um, that your Christmas Eve is going great for you. That you will see this on Christmas Day. So, hopefully, for you, any of you last minute shoppers like I am as well, that you got a lot of your shopping done. If you're going out today to finish that, you know, be careful in the streets and everything. Watch your surroundings and have fun and enjoy and celebrate love, life, and laughter with family and friends and have a good time. So, what are you guys' um, traditions for New Year's Eve? Um, do you guys get up early and cook? Um, do you eat? Uh, a big dinner on both days or do you just do one on Christmas Day um, let me know down in the comments you know what are your family traditions or even if you don't celebrate Christmas what do you guys do anyway so I'm just very interested and curious to know so um, I've but right now it's it's 8 5 I've been up a little bit after 5 a.m. because I really didn't sleep as well as I wanted to last night but uh, anyway I'm just glad that um i'm kind of feeling a little bit better so i was up taking my medication this morning this is my medis medication bag as i showed in the last video before um so i took one pill over here I took one and took my other little daily pill in here oh my you so take one of those and um kind of woke up with a cold as well so that's that sucks big time, but I'm really just pressing my way and praying and hoping that you do too as well. So, um, everybody's, well, not everybody's sleeping. My nephew, um, he's 16 years old, so he had to go get a haircut this morning. Ever was up having some coffee this morning, but he went back to lay down because he was feeling sleepy and he had a headache. My mom is still out. Um, so my dad, you know, brought my nephew. And um, when he gets back, I guess we'll start. I don't know if he's going to go back and take a nap, or he'll probably start in the afternoon time and get ready to start cooking some of the foods. Um, we don't have a lot of company today. A lot of uh, the family will come over tomorrow. Great Christmas Eve weather. It is awesome and it feels great. All right, here you all. So we have got up from our long nap and have headed to Walmart. So you can't see it over there. Sorry for the glare. So Elver is putting up the basket. So he's back there somewhere walking, putting up the basket. I don't know if you guys can see him, but we got a lot of groceries. Well, my dad and I did a lot of shopping on Sunday for the um the holidays. I have enough cream and mushroom soup that I need to make for the um, green bean casserole. So I got that and I got some other things that once the Christmas holiday is over that we can cook because a lot of times we have leftovers over but we're having so much, um, you know, you know, a lot of company coming over, family and everybody eating more than once, the food does go quickly. So we need to have something else to eat um, once that is over. So got some things for every night to cook once, um, you know, Christmas is gone and I still have some leftovers probably on Thursday but by the time um, Saturday come I will have something to cook for Saturday and Sunday and maybe some leftovers for Monday um, until my mom gets in the kitchen and then she will cook her absolute favorite the black eyed peas and cabbage so um, you know what are your guys traditions that y'all do for the New Year's I want to know that too I'm so interested in knowing what people's traditions are but um, a famous tradition is to always do cabbage and black eyed peas it's the reason to say that it brings good luck for a new year. Um, but to be honest, I am so, so tired of eating it. I've been eating it my whole entire life. Ever and I don't really have anything, you know, planned much for once New Year's Day comes. So um, I'll talk to you guys once we get home. Okay, so as you can tell that uh, we are home. Um, Ever went to go run a quick errand to go back to the store and get something. So my dad had to bring my nephew um, to work. He's going to work in a few hours. Yes, on Christmas Eve, unfortunately, but he's going for a few hours. So my dad was starting the turkey. So I was there, getting the season and all that together. 
basketball and the Bellatons. We're gonna have some stuffed bell peppers. I love it, love it, love it. Um, these are some items that Ever and I purchased. We got some more black beans. Got the cream of mushroom for the um, green bean casserole. Got some sweet peas and you know sweet peas, um, corn to go in there. Um, this is for after Christmas because Ever loves his um, Ever loves his food, so gotta make sure he has that. Um, got the chicken broth to go with the, you know, to make the Mexican rice that I'm going to make. Have the diced tomatoes. My dad and my niece, the, uh, my youngest niece, love cranberry sauce, so this is for them. They love, love, love that. I have some cranberry apple juice up there. Cranberry apple juice up there. If you can see it. Up there. And right here, I have some white grape. And I have some cherries that was on sale from Walmart. It was marked down 50 cents. I also have some, um, it's, in, it's, it's outside in the van. But I also have some, what is that? I lose my train of thought. Oh, forgive me, you guys. I have some, not Alka Salsa. What is that? Ginger ale that I'm going to mix it with and put the cranberries in to have like another little, you know, cute holiday drink. And um, maybe make a pot of hot cocoa you know for the children for my niece and nephew so they can have that so you know that'll be the beverages and we got another liter of coke been enough since ever my nephew and my dad they've already started in on the pepsi so i got some more went and got some cookies and some um some more bathroom tissue here some more bathroom tissue um Got some shrimp that I'm going to put into the um, the rice as well. So got some shrimp here. So I'm about to put that up. But yeah, I'm going to help my dad whatever that he needs me to do, and um, try to store some of the foods. Try to really get majority of it done out of the way tonight. That way, when tomorrow comes, you know, there's nothing to do except just to eat. Enjoy and celebrate and you're not all stressed and pressed. I'm, I'm, I'm on the other side of the house Stressed and pressed trying to waste stuff out trying to get everything done. So we're trying to get at least 95% of everything done tonight where tomorrow it's just you know rewarming and serving and you're good to go so Yeah, you all I just I'm just really just really shocked at how fast Christmas have come come along i mean it seemed like it was so far away it didn't arrive so quickly but i am so glad that it's here i really really am today has really just been a you know a relaxing day and after i took my medication it makes me so tired and fatigued and i slept even before i was getting ready to record this part i was like oh my goodness i didn't even say that i was home so i had to come back and finish that section there but yeah i really am tired um, I'm just praying that I'm able to enjoy my Christmas. I really am because I feel so fatigued and I can feel like when that, um, when that medicine is pulling down my energy, pulling down my strength where all I want to do is sleep and dealing with the illness. And then on top of that, like I said before, dealing with anemia, it's like, bam, you have way too many things just piling one upon each other. Next, next, next. And you're pushing your way, trying to enjoy but yeah, I am having hope and I'm having faith that I will. I'm not going to overexert myself, but I'm going to push myself to live, laugh, love, enjoy life, and hang out with my family and have a good time. So I'll come back and close it out. But I'm about to go put the rest of the stuff up and uh, chill for a little bit because <laughs> I'm tired.